Hi, I'm Caleb Moffitt, and this is your Canyon News Micro. Firefighters work to stop the Jake fire from spreading any further. It's been called one of the most destructive wildfire seasons in decades. The 2020 wildfire season seems to continue with no end in sight. But now, Southland firefighters have a new regional weapon to help them in their battle against brush fires. Roland Sproul has the story. It's the largest heavy lift fire copter in the world. It can drop up to 3,000 gallons of water and retarded and is the latest tool in Southern California's firefighting arsenal. Introducing the Chinook, or CH-47, very large helitanker, and it may be coming to a wildfire near you. This is the first of, a kind, of its kind. This is new to us. Uh, this is the first year that it's been in Southern California. So with the collaboration that we have with um, Orange County Fire Authority, this, we're testing it here for the first time, so we haven't used it what in would, LA County. What? Unveiled today at one of LA County Fire Department's brand new Hellas spots near Malibu, the mammoth airship with a standby cost of $26,000 is being covered by contract with SoCal Edison. By some accounts, more than 1,500 wildfires have been caused by downed power lines in California in the last six years, begging the question of what more can utility companies do? I actually reached out to uh, Edison uh, a couple of years ago and shared with them that I thought they needed to do more uh, to support you know, the fire service. And I didn't expect a response, but within a couple of days, the CEO contacted me and said, I'd like to hear your ideas. Today's aerial exercise designed to test the day and nighttime drafting capabilities in LA County began much like an air show with firefighting favorites like the Super Scoopers. But unlike fixed wing tankers, the CH-47's enormous ability to snorkel a full tank in just over a minute and dump a salvo of water or retardant into a raging inferno, this monster aircraft just may be the newest secret weapon in the fight against wildfires. These really are a game changer. For Canyons News, I'm Roland Spruill. COVID-19 has clearly had a major impact on the economy and the movie and TV industry is no exception. For Santa Clarita, a place where numerous productions occur, the effect has many asking, what's next? I shoot in Santa Clarita. I film on location in Santa Clarita. We film here in Santa Clarita. I film in Santa Clarita. For decades, Santa Clarita has always attracted productions with its rolling hills, warm climate, and its countless film ranches. During the first few months of the pandemic, however, filming was completely shut down from March until June 12th. After the shutdown, the film industry was given the okay to film again, but under certain protocols. Like everyone else, they have to uh, obey by uh, the, the social distancing guidelines, um, wearing personal protection equipment, um, and that affects production in many different ways. So. When production resumed, they were limited to the amount of people allowed in a building. Different departments could not commingle. Catering was also largely affected, as buffets were now not allowed. Now, each person's food is brought to them, and they're forced to completely segregate. However, the biggest thing affected in productions is space. Uh, it used to be you could fit, you know, 150 crew members in a small size, half the size of a gymnasium or something. You know, now you've got to have them on the size of more like a football field. COVID has also affected the film industry financially due to the production needing more space to film in order to stick by the COVID guidelines. Um, so before they used to be able to park people, um, you know, like on lots sometimes. Um, now they can't do it because they need that space in the parking lot to put, um, you know, different departments or put catering. However, even with these protocols and setbacks, the film industry is back with a vengeance industry is back to pre-COVID numbers in terms of productions, filming shows like SWAT, NCIS, and Mayans MC, along with features and many other commercials, and they don't look to slow down anytime soon. Reporting for Canyons News, I'm Caleb Moffitt. Christmas is closer than just around the corner, so if you're tired of the stay-at-home orders and need an escape from all the COVID-19 news, 
Natalie Perez tells us about a place locally to help you get rid of the COVID-19 blues. Six Flags Magic Mountain is taking the traditional holiday in the park setting and steering it in a new direction. Because of the mandatory closing of theme parks, Six Flags has turned its entire park into a drive through light show. We wanted to get our employees back, we wanted to give back to our guests, you know, our season pass holders and members and anyone that just loves the park. So um, we were hoping for a normal holiday in the park operation to where we could have, you know, guests come and walk through the park and look at the lights. So, you know, guests are able to actually drive their cars through the park. They never leave their car. They're all in their cars the entire time. Um, and they get to see over a million lights. It's, it's really spectacular. While the times prove challenging, the reception from the Santa Clarita community has kept the holiday spirits alive. This experience really pumped my kids and everybody for Christmas. There was a, an arch with the blue lights. Very beautiful, very nice to see. And while it's not the traditional walk in the park, the dancers, Santa Claus, and One Million Lights help capture the essence of the holidays and the message of Six Flags. And it really comes down to having something fun and safe to do with your family, with kids not being able to go to school and socialize or, you know, not even being able to go meet Santa like they traditionally would. Um, it's, it's an experience for everybody. It's not just for kids. It's for the entire family. And we want everyone to come to the park, drive through. We have different holiday packages that you can purchase in advance with your tickets you know, for a little added experience, you know, hot cocoa and funnel cakes, even, you know, a traditional favorite at the theme park and drive through and just create those happy, merry memories that, you know, you wouldn't have been able to do with um, the park being closed. So we're happy to be open for, for this opportunity for everyone. For Canyons News, I'm Natalie Perez. That's all for this news micro. For Canyons News, I'm Caleb Moffitt.